a conflict arises, what happens? In the past, you know, we used to have some very specific words that we use. Mm -hmm. For example, it was like, I challenge you, which is right. like, I need a mediation with you, basically. Mm. And sometimes in a context of like, all of the emotions <laughs> rising up in, in the very heated moment, it is actually perfect. Like, I challenge you like to break everything off and then mm -hmm. everything is paused. And then the people around, which is maybe one of the staff or one of the facilitators, they could hear it and then they can kind of interrupt and offer support. But in a lot of the situations, the word I challenge you or come in with such aggression also mm. didn't land very well for a lot of students or particular types of conflict that more like involve emotional feelings or, mm. you know, for, for the... Even for older folks, there is a conflict. There's something that is said that is hurtful and, mm. you know, feelings have been heard. But it, it's not exactly appropriate to be like, I challenge you. We have <coughs> renormed that idea and not exactly saying that you have to say the word, but just bringing this idea of a mediation. Just exactly just use the word mediation from the very beginning as like a language that kind of familiarize the students, the part of um, community members to know that that's what we do. And even though you don't understand it, it's okay. When it happens, you will understand. Like, and it's like what Kathy mentioned that it is just about somebody holding the space for you to be able to speak your truth and, you know, say how you feel and be able to listen to other people involved as well. So that's kind of how we have been shifting since mm. I, I would probably say around the pandemic time or a little bit before everything is still like a process that is still evolving it is like sinking in to the students you know as like a living community the students start realizing that and we the posters on the schools would also say you know what to do when conflict arise we would say start a conversation and you can get help from a mediator and everybody can be a mediator and from time to time we would have like a mediator training or mm -hmm. a mediation committee to see who on, among students who are some of the people who are um, interested enthusiastic to learn more about some of the tools and then we do give them some kind of training and give them like guidance around like languages that we use and so we just try to build that and just hopefully that, but still encourage that everybody can be a mediator. But if you don't know how, maybe just get help, get help from a facilitator. And mm -hmm. our, all of our staff, um, you know, are enthusiastic and, and knowledgeable and uh, willing to support. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, in kind of being that role of holding space for people. But that's kind of how we have been doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, it's mm -hmm. been pretty successful so far. Kathy has just recently help a conflict kind of among the older teens and you know with this mm -hmm. like a larger group not just two parties but like in a group mm -hmm. setting so mm -hmm. every day we learn every day we mm -hmm. we learn something new as well for us this is the agentic schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills I'm your host, Don Berg.